Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison and I'm the creator of this faithful home. Guys, I'm super excited because our last box has officially come in the mail. That's right, today we are going to be testing out Blue Apron for our unsponsored review series of different meal kit services. If you're not familiar with this or you are newer to my channel, I will link in the description box down below the list of all of the different companies that we have already tried out. This is our fifth and final company that we are testing. And then next week or the week after, we will be doing a final review of every single company, putting them all together and rating them from one to five. So I'm super excited that this came in the mail. And surprisingly enough, it's only 10 o'clock right now and it already was delivered, which I work later today. So I didn't think it was gonna come till later and David would have to have gotten it and it would have just been a mess and it would have been melted and whatnot, but it's already here. And so I'm super excited to unbox it for you guys today. All right, opening it up, there is foil bubble wrap. Okay, this is interesting. There's individual bags of each of the produce, which is like completely opposite of last time's every plate box. All right, so we have two packs of Brussels sprouts, some potatoes, other type of potatoes, snow peas, orange, Let's put, oh, they call it knickknacks. That's cute. More knickknacks. Mushrooms that I know my husband won't eat, but I really wanted the meal. Shishito peppers. Building a better food system, one delicious recipe at a time. I don't know if this is the best food system because that's a lot of plastic waste, but we'll go with it. Oh, more knickknacks. Hmm. Okay, here's the meat. There's grass-fed beef tri-tip sirloin steak, premium cut chicken, ooh, and Atlantic salmon. I forgot we got salmon. This is a big piece too. And I see two ice blocks that it came with. So this one and this one were down at the very bottom where the meats were sitting on. The one thing I'm not finding is the cards. Oh, okay. Their cards were on the outside of this foil thing so that they didn't get wet. I like that. Okay. All right, that's everything in the box. Let's look at these cards. So the cards are a little bit different. They go up and down. They are the same eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, but I kind of like that they go up and down instead. Here's the meals that we ordered. Mexican spiced salmon and cilantro sauce with quinoa, shishito peppers, and orange. Soy and butter glazed chicken with sesame vegetables and brown rice. And seared steak and mushroom agrodolce? Agro... Mm. I'm gonna list the last word right here because I don't know how to pronounce it. With roasted potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Okay, so far things I noticed these seem very fancy and like higher class because they just sound fancy. Uh, I think it is kind of interesting how they packaged everything in like the little bags like this, but it looks pretty cool. They seem pretty fresh. And now from what I'm understanding, the knickknacks match each of the meals that you need. So. If I am making the chicken, I'll get this bag, look over at the ingredients, and get the chicken breast, the snow peas, the mushroom, and then the knickknack bag. Okay, I feel like that kind of makes sense. We'll see. I'm excited to try this out. I think it will be Unless I have David cook one of these meals, I work the next few days. So maybe a couple days before I get back to you, but for you guys, it'll be in like three, two, one. Boom. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm getting ready to cook our first meal from Blue Apron, but first I gotta go get the card because 
like you saw in the last clip, they don't have them packaged correctly. Like everything you need is all clumped together. So I have to look at this, go over to the fridge, grab the stuff I need, and we will get cooking. I think today I'm going to cook the seared steaks and mushroom are good. That one word here with roasted potatoes and Brussels sprouts. That's what I'm going to do today. All right, here's all the ingredients we'll need. Brussels sprouts, potatoes, mushrooms, the knickknacks, the steak, and our recipe card. And I think I have everything. I don't think you actually need to bring anything yourself. That's kind of nice. And it tells you what wine you could match with if we were a wine drinker. That's cool. All right, insert time lapse now. Here's the final product of the seared steak and mushrooms. I'm super excited for our first meal with Blue Apron. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen for another cooking video. I'm going to be cooking the Blue Apron soy and butter glazed chicken today. A little bit different for cooking. David actually has to do a working lunch. So I'm gonna make it, put it in a glass Tupperware and bring it to him on base so that he can eat a nice home cooked lunch and then I'll go to work this afternoon. So let's get cooking. guys here's the final product soy and butter glazed chicken mine I made with mushrooms but since David doesn't like them I took all of them and this one's for him I'm so excited to show up at work and bring him lunch All right, guys, lunch is served for our first anniversary. I'm super excited. This is our last meal with Blue Apron. It's the Mexican spiced salmon and cilantro sauce. And I'm excited for David and I to eat it for our anniversary. Guys, I bet you're not really expecting to see me pop on here at the end of the video quite yet because I've only cooked three meals from Blue Apron. But as it turns out, that's all that we were able to try. Unfortunately, one of the negatives that I'm already going to tell you guys in this unsponsored review of Blue Apron is that we were only able to try out one week because they literally didn't have any options for me the second week, which was unfortunate because we actually did like Blue Apron and the produce was really good, which is a plus. Their meat was really good, but unfortunately they just didn't have enough stuff for us. So Blue Apron is like every other company where you can go in and choose two servings or four, or they have a vegetarian option, which is kind of cool. So I chose to do the two serving option, obviously for David and I, and then we did the three time a week meal plan, which each serving is $9.99. So we spent $59.94 on our box, which is comparable to pretty much every other brand. It's about average for what every other one we would have paid. That was the easy part of the process though because once I logged on their website was really confusing. Like even trying to determine what meals had what ingredients I 
it kept glitching on me. It told me to come back later for more information. It wouldn't let me look week to week. It was a mess. I barely found three meals, as you saw, that I could even eat. I had to end up substituting on two of the meals something that I knew one of the ingredients I had here that would work and modified to make it gluten-free. So even then, I really only found one meal that was legitimately gluten-free and you could not tell that from their website in the slightest. That's why we only chose one week because the following week I could just tell by looking at meals what is and what isn't like I'm not new at this so even though it was really hard to find all the information for it I just knew I couldn't and then on top of that they also discontinued a lot of their items and I don't know if that's because maybe they have an influx of people ordering or what but half of their items were discontinued so you couldn't even choose that meal as an option unless you picked them like four weeks in advance which then their computer didn't worked out far in advance so it was a mess. Nonetheless, obviously you can probably tell that we are not continuing with Blue Apron just to the sheer fact that their choices were so limited. I did tell you guys this would be an unsponsored review and so you're getting the truth, the hardcore truth and nothing but the truth that we were not fully pleased with Blue Apron. I will say, however, that their food was decent. Uh, like I said, their produce was good. Their meat seemed very fresh and good quality, but <sighs> obviously that does not outweigh the fact that I can't eat anything there. All in all, we did not continue with the service. Uh, as far as canceling, there was a spot on the bottom. I had to go to like the frequently asked questions page and then hit cancel. And then it said email, you know, cancellations so that you can get the info on how to do it, which then I had to email and then got the email, looked at the thing. And it basically told me where in my accounts there's like this hidden spot to cancel it. So it was not user friendly, which I get they don't want people to cancel, but like, all the other ones, it was right there. You either freeze or cancel your subscription and they're up front from the beginning like, hey, we get it, but not Blue Apron. So my husband wasn't too thrilled with the produce in some of the meals too because he just didn't like those vegetables, but I didn't really have an option. I kind of had to outweigh the fact that I literally couldn't eat any of it or I could just make it and move the mushrooms to my plate. So that was kind of frustrating too. All in all, I would not rate it that well. I'd probably rate it like a five out of 10 maybe. Yeah, I'd probably give it a five. That's generous, right? Like the meat was good. Their produce was good. The packaging was iffy. The fact that it had a lot of plastic, but whatever. I don't know. There's my honest opinion. I know that you guys are watching all the way to the end because you wanted to know how I felt about it. So I appreciate you guys watching this far. Now that we have completed all five companies, David and I are gonna sit down and decide what our game plan is from here. If we are going to continue on with a company, what company we're gonna pick, will we pick two, how often we are gonna do it, and then I'm going to compile an entire video of ranking our one to five on the five companies that we tried out. And I'll make sure to update you guys on that if you are watching this way later than I post it, that link will be in the description bar. But if you are watching this as this video comes live, check back in in probably like a week or two for that specific video. But make sure you check back every Wednesday and Saturday as I regularly post at 3 p.m. I would really love for you guys to like this video and comment down below if you've tried Blue Apron. You guys hitting that like button and commenting really helps my channel out. It helps the analytics. It helps show me that you guys are supportive and it gives me motivation to make more videos. So I would love your feedback, your comments, your likes. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button so you feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. I love making these videos for you guys and I will catch you in another one. Bye!